Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. It's Valerie Milano, the editor of the Hollywood Times. And I want to thank Mike Donahue for uh, coming and talking about his movie, Troy. So we're going to let him introduce himself. If we don't. Hey, freeze. everyone. I'm Mike Donahue. I know you're freezing. <laughs> Go ahead and, and introduce yourself, Mike. Okay, sure. Hi, everyone. I'm Mike Donahue. I'm the filmmaker of Troy. Excellent. And it's a hilarious film, short film, about 15 minutes. And um, a neighbor having loud sex is one thing, but having sex pretty much all day long is a lot. Um, first of all, bravo. This is uh, an amazing story with so much humor. You, Dane, and Jen collaborated on the story, and Jen wrote the final script. How much of this hilarious tale came from experiences and how much did you have to make up we did have an experience with a neighbor who was like particularly raucous next door like there are all sorts of cell phone videos that we've taken and shared back and forth where it's just like the sad plaster wall of a new york apartment but there's like a crazy threesome happening next door while we're having thanksgiving dinner in the apartment uh, but beyond that, you know, it's it's sort of what we invented. Like, I think so much of it is about not just their relationship to his sex, but to how loudly he lives um, in all of life's highs and lows. And, and that we sort of took, you know, a number of liberties with. Perfect. Adina and Michael Braun were excellent as the couple, but Florian Klein was awesome as Troy. The, the supporting cast was great, too. You hit a home run on casting. Um how did you how did you put the ensemble together? A lot of them are actors that Jen and Dane and I know from working in New York theater. So I, for the last decade, have been a theater director, primarily in New York and L.A., and I develop and premiere a lot of new plays. I've done a lot of work with Jen and Adina and Dana Delaney, who has a cameo in the short, were both in the last play that Jen and I did in New York together. Um, Florian, who also is an internationally known uh, gay porn star under the name Hans Berlin. Florian and I met because of the theater. He had an original musical that he was premiering in LA at the same time that I was doing a production of Little Shop of Horrors with Michaela J. Rodriguez and Amber Riley at Pasadena Playhouse. So Florian saw that and reached out to me. And during the pandemic, we became close. And I uh, finally got up the courage to beg him to go back to acting and play this role for us. <laughs> Special thanks in the credits. You sent us out a shout out to the residents of 550 West 58th Street. So is it assumed that 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 was your location and how much sound augmentation uh, was needed or were the walls just thin? And did any of you live there? Is that when you were talking about Thanksgiving? Uh, <laughs> in the uh, actual apartment in real life, we did live there. The apartment we filmed in is not the actual apartment. Okay. The walls in that building are actually quite thick. So we did get two apartments next to one another, but all of the uh, sort of soundtrack of the short is material that we had to capture in ADRs. So we had, you know, an extensive process where I spent several days going through porn and ripping audio from porn and then <laughs> breaking that down into 20 to 30 second, you know, sort of uh, sound clips that we could work with. And I cataloged them in a whole library, you know, like uh, high pitched porpoise sound uh, nearing climax, high pitched porpoise sound at the peak of climax, Gatlin gun, guttural animal noises, no ad libs or with slapping sounds. So, you know, we had like a, a video, a sort of audio library of 400 clips that my editor and I could use as temp tracks. And then once we kind of cut to what we thought the different sex noises were going to be, we went into a day of ADR with Florian uh, and then two actors who voiced all of the other clients and lovers that Troy has relations with. And we uh, sort of created all of those uh, sex sounds um, together in a very strange day of recording. Well, the music was subtly appropriate and hilarious itself, particularly the one Thea plays into the wall in the morning, oh, I'll be better, uh, yeah. while Troy is singing Angel by Sarah McLaughlin. Whose yes. idea was that? 
Uh, tennis, we were incredibly lucky to be able to work with one of their tracks. Our producer, Evan Jonicate, who also plays Troy's boyfriend through the wall uh, in the short, he's friends with tennis. He's known them for years. And so when we were looking for a band that we could work with, um, he mentioned them and I, 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 you know, I've long been in love with tennis's uh, song. So to get to use one of their pieces, we were so lucky to get to do that. And then the Sarah McLaughlin, uh, that is maybe inspired by real life. <laughs> um, at the end, Troy moves away. Um, mm -hmm. And Thea and Charlie are crushed. They have been, you know, they become addicted to the sounds, haven't they? And they turn to the internet to replace those those now missing notes of the sex. Uh, but hasn't Troy really become virtually a family member for them? Completely. I think so. I mean, I, I, I think he's actually sort of waken up and saved their relationship. I don't think Tay and Charlie are in a bad relationship at the beginning of the film necessarily, but I think they're so comfortable with one another. They've become almost overly settled in their routine. Um, and, and they're really sort of living in like a very narrow bandwidth of experiences day to day. And I think Troy sort of shocks the two of them back to life and they rediscover as a couple curiosities and passions and um, and and vulnerabilities because of this man. So I, I do think he he kind of becomes a third in their partnership. Yeah. This is one of those films that audiences remember and we'll discuss after for perhaps days or weeks. Was it your intention to have an ending that may lead audiences to reach the conclusion that the compu computer isn't going to be enough for Taya and Charlie? I think we wanted to leave it on a note of um, hope, but not put too much of a bow on it. Like, I think there, there's sort of no replacing the, the real person. And I think for them, there is a real mystery and concern about what has happened to this guy. And why did he leave out? Has he broken his lease? It's really expensive to move. Who is he living with? Is it someone who's going to support him emotionally and professionally in his life? Like, I, I think none of those questions are answered. And so hopefully there remains an open-ended mystery. Um, but I hope the lesson that, you know, the two of them have taken that is that we can, we can live in this more alive, curious, compassionate world. Uh, and we maybe need to find other other people to help continue to inspire us, but that that is a, an invaluable lesson that they won't backtrack on. Thank you. Thank you for bringing so much happiness, joy, and smiles to the audience. Um, are you thinking about your next project yet? Yeah. So Jen Silverman and I are actually working on our first feature together right now. And it's, it's not a feature adaptation of Troy, but Troy sort of serves as a tonal and a thematic comp, um, if maybe a, a, a lighter, more comedic version. Um, but the, the feature is similarly about uh, ideas of obsession and attachment and projection and fixation. It just takes a, a much darker turn. But that we're, um, we're, we're set up with Ed Helms production company, Pacific Electric. Um, we're working with an incredible exec over there. And, uh, you know, we're, we're sort of waiting for uh, the strike to be resolved and then dive back into casting, hopefully. No, that was great. I love this interview. And I appreciate you taking all the time with the Hollywood Times dot today. Thank um, you, guys. I appreciate you talking yeah. to us. I appreciate it. And, and where can we find you in the movie? Um, we have a website. Do y'all have uh, social media? Talk about that for a second. We do. We're on Instagram as Troy the Film, but we're actually uh, now featured on the New Yorkers website. We're a part of their screening room. So they just released us uh, a week ago, I guess now. So if you Google Troy the New Yorker, you can read a wonderful little write-up about the film and you can watch the full movie uh, on the New Yorker. Excellent. Cool. Well, I do appreciate you, like I said, and please keep us posted on on you and Jen and 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 the movies and the projects that you guys are work you two are working on and anything else that might be coming to mind because you did put uh, lots of smiles on our faces. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, I'll let you go. Have a wonderful I know you're busy, guys. All right, keep up the great work. Take care.